Racers in the Yukon Arctic Ultra spend days, weeks even, crossing landscapes like this. Seemingly endless expanses, temperatures that can freeze exposed skin, staying on the move, taking food and water, managing your pace. Then there's the long northern winter's nights. It's colder, you're alone, and you have to choose. Do you keep going and get fatigued or sleep and risk hypothermia? It's a constant challenge and it frightens even front runners. It was uh, so tremendously cold, it was about mi minus 50, 51, 52, I don't know, and I was freezing. And I, and I kept going at a real high, high speed, but uh, I didn't get, get warm at all. Okay. Impossible. After that horrible night, the current race leader is tested by a scientist from Berlin's Center for Space Medicine. Heart rate, sleep patterns, and body weight are measured. He fills in a questionnaire about his state of mind. Three others are taking part as well. The basic idea, of course, is to increase mankind's knowledge, to put it in a broader perspective, uh, about the human physiology, the adaptability of the human body. It just shows us what is possible. Isolation, endurance, and of course extreme conditions, the cold, all of these are relevant to greater understanding of the human body and finding out what it might be like for human beings in space. While a Yukon winter at its worst isn't nearly as severe as what's beyond Earth's atmosphere, it is a handy proving ground for techniques and technology that might one day be part of space exploration and, crucially, the return of those space explorers to their home planet. Astronauts are required to do, you know, survival courses and survival training uh, and, you know, it's quite possible, it's my hope, that uh, this study might help to increase their, their, their chances of survival um, should they end up in an environment like this one. For most runners, this is a race against time, weather and other competitors. But for scientists, a chance to explore something little known, how fragile human bodies can and do survive extreme stress. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, near Carmax in the Yukon.